All right, we're going to show you how to make a custom frame for a screen door and put in the door jamb. Because this steel pole is round, it's circular, we need to use the 1x2 that doesn't have a back that will set on that round surface. So we're going to use the 1x2 first, and then we're going to take and we're going to cut a 2x2 two two and lay it on top of that and screw both of them into that steel, just like that looks right there. So first we got to cut them all. So we're going to use the miter saw to cut them. You want to measure twice and cut once. That's the smart way. And then after you've cut each piece, you've got to file down all of the jagged rough edges. Once we've cut both pieces and filed them down, we check the measurement, make sure that it fits perfect, and then we're going to go ahead and drill our holes. So we're going to pre-drill our uh, one by two, and we're going to put four holes in it so that we can screw it into the pole. So we do that before we even get it up there. Make sure that you've got them all marked and drilled, and you want to have them even so that when you do both sides, they look the same. All right, so we've got our holes drilled. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, clamp this onto the pole and then we're going to drill our holes through the original holes that we have with our bit into that steel pole. Before we drill the holes and permanently attach one by two, we want to make sure that we're square and that we've got it so that the door is going to hang straight across. All right, the reason we're starting with a one by two on the steel pole is because the back of the one by two is open and it will form around that circular area of that pole whereas the other one's square and so we have to put that one on first before we can put the two by two on it. Alright so once we've got the holes drilled through the steel pole and the aluminum framing we're going to pull that one by two off of there and then we're going to lay it on top of our two by two and we're going to mark the holes because we've got to drill the holes through two by two and they have to be big and then lock the two by two to the one by two into the steel pole. We've laid it on top of it and now we're going to mark those holes and then we're going to drill those holes through and then we're going to make a bigger opening for the head of the screw. All right, to drill our holes through our 1x2 into our 2x2, two two, we've got to get it so it's nice and even and we're going to clamp it down. Now we've already got the holes drilled on the steel and on the 1x2 and all we have to do is match them to that 2x2 two two and then drill the holes all the way through. So we make sure we've got enough depth with the bit and then we've got to go through two layers on the two by two so we got to push it all the way through and get that hole all the way on the other side and we got to do that three times so once we unclamp them we're going to mark them so that we know um, which side is which all right so we're using a huge drill bit to make a large hole so we can get the head of the screw all the way through there and tighten it down then we can put the door jam over that and cover the holes so we go ahead and we ream out our four holes so we can get our screws in and before we try to attempt to fasten it let's make sure our driver will fit all the way through to the head of the screw all right you're probably wondering why there's painters tape on the end of this bit that's so that it won't fall off when we're screwing it because if it does we're gonna have a hard time getting it out all right and here goes our first screw we're going to stick it in there. We taped it to that so that it wouldn't fall off also. All right, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and get all of our screws in there. They go through the 2x2 two two in the back, go through the 1x2, and then into that big steel pole. And that's going to hold everything down there super tight and secure, and it'll make a great door jam frame. All right, so now we've got one side of the door frame installed on that steel pole, and uh, now we've got to do the header, and we've got to do the exact same thing. We've got to drill these big holes, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put it up top there, but we have to have those huge holes so that we can put the door jam over that header and it'll fit on there without hitting the screw tops or the heads of the screws, which are hexagon. The door frame header only requires three screws. First, we start with the small bit, then we use the bigger bit. We're gonna drill the hole all the way through the bottom, and then we're gonna come back with that giant bit and ream it out so that we can get the head of the screw through there. All right, so anyway, you're gonna need a concrete bit. You're gonna need a drill that's plugged in, not battery operated, because you're gonna need the power to get through the concrete. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up there with the concrete drill after we clamp it and make sure it's straight and we're going to go ahead and get our first hole drilled so that we can put our screw in. All right so once we get that first concrete drill hole made in the middle we're going to go ahead and lock it in with a concrete screw. Then we drill all the holes, put all of our concrete screws in and lock that header down nice and tight and we're ready to go ahead and put our jam on. The door jam that goes over the header is 36 inches across from those two little spots there 
and the sides kind of sleeve over the frame that is on the side. And we did not account for that when we measured the header. So we're a little bit too long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut off that end of it and so it'll fit on there perfectly. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that happens sometimes when you're doing something you never did before. But um, once we do that, we should be good. So we used a grinder to cut off the excess that we have on that header up there. We put a two by two on the inside of this framing so that we have something real solid to screw into with our side piece on our door uh, jam and frame. So anyway, making that little mistake on the header did uh, cost us an hour or an hour and a half of time. And we had to, of course, cut all this off to get it to the right size of 36 inches. But we got it done. The outcome is going to be pretty darn good. So anyway, if you're doing one of these jobs, remember that that top of the door jam slides over the side of it. You can see it right there. And the 36 inches comes to that inside. So that's important. You know, you want to you want to make sure that you account for the sleeving of it. Otherwise, you're going to end up doing the same thing we did, cutting your header too long. So once we got the excess piece off, uh, we drilled another hole in it, and we're going to put another concrete screw in there. We're going right through the wood this time, right into the concrete. And we got to have it big enough so that we can get the head through there too. So we got to use that bigger drill bit and uh, do it deep enough so that the head doesn't stick through and we can get top of our door jam on there to fit nice and smooth and snug. We put three concrete screws in there. So we got to drill a hole into the concrete through the wood and uh, we got to get it deep up in there. So we just got to make sure that the head of the screw gets past the surface. All right, now you can see exactly where that's supposed to fit and how that sticks over on the end. Once you got it in the right spot, we're going to drill some holes and we're going to put some sheet metal screws in there. And you can see how that's perfectly aligned on the end there. That's exactly how you want it. All right, once we get our holes drilled, then we're going to grab our driver and we're going to go ahead and put our sheet metal screws right in there and tighten it up. We got to do the exact same thing on the outside. We got to drill some holes and we're going to put uh, three sheet metal screws out there too. So we started with the top of the door jam. It's affixed to the header. And now we've got to cut the uh, side of the door jam. And uh, we've got to measure that off first because it's going to be 78 inches as opposed to 80. So we've got to cut off about two inches off of this piece right here. The door jam cost about 100 bucks, and we don't want to make a mistake on it. So you should measure twice and just cut it one time. And so that's what we're trying to do. So again, we're a little off on this thing here. And so we have to do a little bit of trimming right here as opposed to pulling the whole thing off and resetting it. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to use the same uh, tool which is basically a grinder to do that. It's just a small little, you know, quart, less than a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more than an eighth of an inch that we got to shave off there to fit it in there nice and tight. And so we just did that and popped it off with the pliers. And now it should fit in there okay. Make sure you file it all down too. So anyway, in retrospect, after doing this job, I think it's probably smart to put your sides up first <laughs> before you put the... Uh, you put the uh, uh, top piece on because it's hard to smush this thing in there. So, you know, we're learning as we go. We're not experts at it, but uh, so now we're trying to slide that up in there. It's a tight fit, so we're going to have to cut a little bit more off of it, and then it should slip right in there. Uh, you don't want to screw it up by, you know, hammering on it. You want to make sure it fits in, and we're almost there. Yep, there we go. That is going to work, I think. Bam, done. Okay, so anyway, we've got our side on. And just like the other um, top piece of the door jam, we've got to drill our holes. We're going to do four of them on there, and we're going to do them on both sides. So we're going to do them on the inside and the outside. And you want to make them uniform. You want to make them kind of even so when you look at them, it doesn't, you know, screw up your eyesight, you know, because you're going, wow, that looks like a shoddy job. And you can see the hinges right there on this one. And uh, then we got to put our sheet metal screws in nice and tight. And that's pretty much it. Then we've got basically two-thirds of the of the door jam and the header and the one side done. We just got to get the other side done. And you can see it looks pretty good, doesn't it? You can see they're white too. And uh, I think we're doing pretty good for, for the first time. Now we're going to make the other side of the door frame that the jam is going to go on. So we got to cut it. It's going to be 78 inches. You got to file it down. You got to make sure you got the exact distance on the bottom as on the top. And you got to make sure that it's square like we did earlier. And then we're going to slide that two by two right in there 
Um, but we're going to fix this one with a little bit more strength. We're going to put uh, some wood up inside of it, and we're going to put a bracket on there. All right, so we're just going to check and make sure it's square on the bottom and the top. And um, before we affix it to it, what we're going to do is we're going to throw some wood on the inside of this, and then we're going to uh, we're going to put a bracket on it that we can lock it into the concrete so it's super strong. So we bought these brackets at uh, Home Depot, but of course they didn't have the right size holes on them. So we had to uh, drill a bunch of holes and then we had to uh, flange them out and we're going to use these giant concrete screws and make sure that sucker's in there and in there tight. Alright, so first we're going to take this and we're going to screw it onto our 2x2 two two, and we're drilling holes so we don't crack the wood. And then we're just going to put a couple screws in there to lock it in. Bam, ready to go. Of course, there's always something else we've got to do. And as you can see, it's got to have a little notch at the bottom. Otherwise, that's not going to set in there perfectly. So we just got to cut out that little area right there so that we can fit that uh, bracket so that it will be flush with the floor. See how that just goes right in there nice and perfect? That's exactly what we want. And that looks like a really good, nice flush fit. Fits right in there, but we've got to get it tighter. So I'm going to throw a couple shims in there to lock it in a little bit tighter on either side. All right, you got to make sure that it's level. So we're doing that. And then we can go ahead and attach the top and the bottom. Looks pretty good. And uh, we got to drill a couple holes at the top. Get our screws through there. And uh, pretty good size heads on the screws when we get them all the way through. So once we've got our screw holes drilled through the 2x2, two two, we're going to pull it back. And we're going to go ahead and make a couple holes in that wood so we don't split it. So we want it going in there nice and tight. All right, so once we've got the top all screwed in, then we can measure that bottom and get it exactly where it's got to be. It's got to be at 36 inches because that's, you know, the standard door. It's 36 inches. And then we want to check the level, make sure it's not out of kilter. And then we got to make sure everything's square. So that's important. <laughs> you want to make sure that you get your door frame in there nice and square so the door fits. Again, measure twice, check twice, make sure you're right before you drill your holes and you set that sucker in the concrete. So now we got our concrete drill. We're going to drill a couple holes and we're going to put our big old screws in there. The concrete dust can block your screw when you try to screw it in so you can use a vacuum to suck it all out. And here we're drilling the big hole, but you can see there's a lot of dust there. There's the big giant honker we're going to put in there. That sucker's going to keep that thing in there tight. you got to use a ratchet to get it in there. And as you can see, uh, we're ratcheting that baby down. It takes a while. It's a big one. That's going to hold that thing in there forever. That sucker's never coming out. All right, so now all we got to do is measure up our other door jam, cut it on that DeWalt <laughs> miter saw, and then you know file her down and then slide her right in there in that groove. And uh, that is going to be... First, I got to cut that little piece off that was sticking out. But and then we're going to slide it up in there, and and we're going to screw it in with the sheet metal screws. All right, it's a tight fit, but we seem to get her in there pretty good. And I think now we're ready to go ahead and screw our sheet metal screws in, and, and then put our door on. All right, now we've got our door jam on our frame. Looks pretty good. Uh, as you can see, there's the one side, there's the header, and there's the side with the hinges on it. All right, so all we have to do now is drill our holes. And we're doing four on each side, and we're making them exactly in the same spaces as the other side of the door so that they look uniform. And then we got to put our uh, sheet metal screws in, just kind of tap them right in there. And we'll have our door jam and our frame constructed and ready for the door to be uh, hung on its hinges. All right, so here's our finished product. We made our frame, and we put our door jam in. And here is our final product. This is the door jam and the frame. And as you can see, we've finished all of our screen work. Let's take a look at it from the outside. Back up a little bit. And there she is, all finished. And you can see we got it all set in here. A little bit of a gap there, but not too much. The door itself was um, 77 and three quarters. Uh, we cut it 78. So we've got a little gap there and the gap at the bottom, and uh, that's what you have to have so it'll swing through. And you know, we put our, our door handle on, we put our uh, door closer on, and it works great. Yeah. And you can do it too. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos.